Hey dudes and dudettes, I wanted to make a video today because I'd had a lot of questions about thumbnails and that how I plan out my thumbnails and how I do them. So I thought I'd show you a little bit of my process today and tell you a couple things. Thing number one, workstation. This is mine. It's pretty little actually. Uh, I usually draw on a tablet in my lap. I've got my model of Lee that helps me figure out what he looks like from different angles and in different lighting. I have my water, really important. Ancient character sheets, motivational quote. <laughs> you know, the works. Thing number two, inspiration. I've got Buzz by Tessa Stone and an Ant Panagiri. I don't know how to pronounce his name. But I love this comic because it's very energetic, very creative layouts and fun use of panels. Usually this is my go-to comic for inspiration. Uh, also we've got Sean Gordon Murphy, Joe the Barbarian, because the man is a wizard when it comes to inking. So yeah, those are two comics that I highly suggest anybody read. Those are my inspiration. They prime my pump. They get me all ready to do comics. Thing three, important things to consider before you start your thumbnails. How much of the script um, how many lines you want to put on the page, and also what your last page looked like. You want to make sure that it harmonizes with um, what you've just done. I feel like maybe these two pages didn't harmonize that much, these three, but that's okay because this was supposed to be a surprise. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's get started. I'm going to try and talk and draw at the same time. I feel like if the page is readable or at least if I can decipher what's going on at this size, then it'll be easier to read uh, when it's large. That's how I keep things really simple. Let's do another one of his face, maybe. He's like, I just got fired so I don't even have to go to work tomorrow. And then he's like, he stands up on the couch. Yeah. There's no road trip. We can do another freaky face. Ben really happy. And then we could... The script calls for him pushing Ben back down onto the couch. He says, road trip to the hospital. Well, already I don't like this layout very much, but we're going to see what works and um, just keep working with it. Pushes him down. Road trip to the hospital. I'm gonna level with you, Ben. I think there might be some metal in your head. And then Ben's like... Are you kidding? I do several different versions, I'll do more, but like I like to kind of review what's going on, see if it flows. See, this gets a little awkward over here. And there's space that I could be utilizing over here. I don't think this is the best setup, so let's try something else. We could have a large panel of him just like standing on the couch and Lee being like, hmm. And Ben's got his dialogue over here and over here. And then if we wanted to focus on Lee, and then we could do this over the shoulder shot. a little awkward because it leads us off the page this way and that's not good. And Ben's like, are you kidding? This may be a, a too many lines to cram onto one page because Lee's lines are certainly not going to fit in there. Let's try something else. Vertical panel of Ben being excited. Could even put some of the text down here or out here. I tend to think very sequentially because I have been studying to be like a storyboard artist. So <laughs> things have to happen sequentially and make sense in my head as if it was a shot in a movie. Road trip! Woo! And then the 
waking up because of me as sitting back down on the couch. Got a speech bubble coming out of his armpit, apparently. It's not necessarily the best place. So maybe we can make the tail come up from here. And then it's like, oh! An upshot of Lee. See, this is sloppy. This means nothing to anybody but me, or maybe it does to you guys because you've seen me drawing it. The shorthand that I have for Lee is like a square with a frown. You know, whatever. And then for Ben, it is like an oval. At this point, I'm a little bit stuck, so I'm going to go for some inspiration and come back. I am back. I've been looking these over, and I've been looking over Buzz again. I like this. This. I kind of like that. Stand up on the couch. We could do some fun things with perspective. I always say that in the thumbnails. Let's do fun things with perspective, and then I hate myself afterwards because I actually have to draw it. Road trip to the hospital. And maybe Ben's hand is up here like, oh, I didn't expect him to do that. Oh, oh, yeah. Ooh, and then we could do a profile thing. I love drawing profiles. I'm gonna level with you, Ben. I think there might be some metal in your head. Now, I like this, but I gotta be careful. Because I don't want people to ship Ben and Lee. So let's change this panel up. It's my classic thing to do a, a takeaway panel. With Lee's guilty face. Um, but I'm not going to do that this time. Because I've done that a lot. Let's see. So we've got this flow. Well, we could have a over the shoulder. Maybe some guilt. And he's got soap in the glove seat behind him. I draw these panels over and over until I get a composition that I feel works. So Lee is kind of dominating the conversation a little bit because he's higher in the frame than Ben. Ben's like, are you kidding? This is okay, but we can't tell what Lee is thinking. Here's the boring part where I think some more. So we're gonna skip that. All right, guys, after much deliberation and about probably 20 minutes of work, I think I found something good. So, you know, I keep working things out, taking panels out and, and figuring out what I like the best. So we've got Ben here, he's like, yes, you know, uh, I just got fired. I don't have to go to work tomorrow. Road trip. I like this perspective better because it's a little more forced. So I'm going to use that. And he's like, uh, road trip to the hospital. I'm going to level with you, Ben. And here's Ben here. I think there's some metal in your head. And there might be even some guilty drips here. We'll see. And Ben's like, Psh, you know, what do you worry about? <laughs> We're like, that's the best part. Whatever. Uh, that's not exactly what I wrote in the script. And even though I have revised the script many times, sometimes it still doesn't feel right when I reach the page. And I have to change a word or I have to put fewer words in a speech bubble. And so I just, it's really important to me to make the script, allow the script to be flexible at this stage. That is my basic thumbnailing process. There's a lot of background stuff that goes into it, but the best way to learn about it is by studying other comics. And also, this book is amazing. Making Comics by Scott McCloud. I highly suggest anybody who is interested in uh, making comics read that book and read it many times because it is gold. Anyway, thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for supporting the comic, and I hope you got something out of this. Have a great day, everybody.